In the heart of a tranquil valley, nestled between towering mountains and babbling brooks, there lay a humble monastery where a revered Zen master named Koji resided. Koji was known far and wide for his wisdom, compassion, and profound understanding of the human condition. One warm summer evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the sky turned into a canvas of oranges and purples, a weary traveler named Shinji stumbled upon the monastery gates. Shinji's face was etched with lines of worry, and his eyes carried a heavy burden. He had journeyed far seeking solace for the pain that weighed down his soul. As Shinji entered the monastery grounds, he was greeted by the soft rustle of bamboo and the gentle hum of cicadas. Koji, sensing the arrival of a troubled soul, emerged from the meditation hall to welcome the visitor. Welcome, traveler, Koji said with a serene smile. What brings you to our humble abode? Shinji bowed respectfully. I seek guidance, master, he replied, his voice laden with emotion. I carry a burden that weighs heavily upon me, a pain that gnaws at my spirit. I yearn to find peace within myself. Koji nodded understandingly. Come, sit with me beneath the ancient oak tree, he said, gesturing towards a tranquil spot in the monastery garden. Share with me the nature of your suffering, and together we shall seek the path to liberation. Shinji followed the master to the shaded alcove beneath the oak tree, where they settled upon smooth stones arranged in a circle. The air was filled with the sweet scent of blossoms, and a gentle breeze played with the leaves overhead. Taking a deep breath, Shinji began to recount his tale. He spoke of love lost, of dreams shattered, and of the relentless ache that haunted his days and tormented his nights. With each word, his heart felt lighter, as if the act of sharing his pain had already begun to ease its grip. Koji listened attentively, his eyes reflecting the flickering light of the lanterns that illuminated the garden. When Shinji had finished speaking, the master remained silent for a long moment, as if contemplating the depths of the traveler's anguish. Finally, Koji spoke in a voice as soft as a whispering stream. My dear friend, your suffering is like a knot that has tangled itself within the fabric of your being. But remember this, just as the lotus emerges pure and untainted from the muddy depths, so too can you find beauty and serenity amidst the turmoil of your existence. Shinji looked at the master, his eyes searching for understanding. But how, master? he asked, his voice trembling with emotion. How can I let go of the pain that grips my soul so tightly? Koji smiled knowingly. The art of letting go is not an easy one, my friend, he replied. It requires patience, courage, and a willingness to surrender to the flow of life. But know this, within you lies the power to transcend your suffering and find peace. With these words, Koji reached into the folds of his robe and produced a small object, a delicate porcelain teacup adorned with intricate designs. This teacup, the master said, holding it out for Shinji to see, is a reminder of the impermanence of all things. Just as this cup is but a fleeting vessel for tea, so too are our lives transient and ever-changing. Shinji gazed at the teacup, its smooth surface glimmering in the fading light. He felt a sense of wonder at the simplicity of the master's words, as if a veil had been lifted from his eyes to reveal a deeper truth. But how does one let go, master? Shinji asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Koji's eyes sparkled with kindness. Letting go begins with acceptance, he replied. Acceptance of what is without clinging to the past or yearning for a future that may never come. It is only when we release our attachment to outcomes and surrender to the present moment that we can find true peace. With these words, Koji gently placed the teacup in Shinji's hands. I hold this cup as if it were the most precious thing in the world, he instructed. Feel its weight, its texture, its warmth. And then, when the time is right, let it go. Shinji nodded, his heart filled with a mixture of hope and trepidation. Closing his eyes, he allowed himself to be fully present in the moment, to experience the sensation of the teacup cradled in his palms. For a long while there was silence in the garden, broken only by the distant chirping of crickets and the gentle rustle of leaves. And then, with a steady breath, Shinji opened his eyes and released his grasp on the teacup. As the porcelain vessel slipped from his fingers, Shinji felt a surge of emotions wash over him, fear, longing, sadness, and finally, a profound sense of liberation. For in that fleeting moment of release, he had glimpsed the infinite expanse of possibility that lay beyond his pain. Koji watched with a serene smile as the teacup tumbled through the air, spinning and twirling like a dancer in the wind. And then, with a soft thud, it came to rest upon the moss-covered ground, unharmed and whole. Look, my friend, Koji said, gesturing towards the teacup. See how effortlessly it surrendered to the pull of gravity. 
how gracefully it embraced the earth. This is the art of letting go, the gentle release of that which no longer serves us, so that we may make room for that which does. Shinji nodded, his eyes shining with newfound clarity. In that moment, he understood that the key to inner peace lay not in clinging to the past or grasping for the future, but in surrendering to the ever-changing flow of life with an open heart and a steadfast mind. And as he sat beneath the ancient oak tree, surrounded by the gentle whispers of nature and the guiding presence of the Zen master, Shinji felt a sense of peace settle over him like a warm embrace, for in letting go of his pain he had discovered the true essence of his being, the boundless spirit that resides within us all waiting to be set free.